Hello and greetings everyone. This is Leah Love, um, group admin. And I, lighting isn't very good. I wanted to come in and um, share something with you all because I was asked in an inbox and um, I wanted to be sure that, you know, I share it with as many people as possible. Uh, a lot of women are in the, in the process of dating and hoping to find, you know, the man of their dreams. And I, of course, being in this group, totally support it. But I wanted to share something with you as I was thinking about my own dating um, experience. And that is that there is nothing more powerful than your own sense of confidence. And the reason why I share this is that I remember being on dating sites. I remember, you know, the endless inboxes and, you know, sharing parts of myself and, you know, the things that I wanted them to know about, answering the same question over and over and over and over. And when I think about the time prior to my observing myself and shifting my thinking. When I think about that, I realize that the main difference between the time when I was very, very successful and the time when I wasn't, that it was, it had everything to do with confidence. And I've had people in my inbox, you know, mentioning that they're just getting out you know, into the dating game and they're feeling nervous. Um, excuse me, I'm holding my phone and my arm's kind of hurting. So they're feeling nervous. They're feeling like, you know, I don't know how to handle this and, and whatnot. But I want to share with you that it's really, 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 really important that you simultaneously date yourself. And what I mean by that is that when you see yourself as the prize, when you spend time with yourself, spend time on yourself, when you research yourself, when you journal, when you um, engage in things um, related to self-care, uh, get counseling, you know, when you engage in healing uh, modalities, when you get yourself into a space where you understand that you are a work of art, that you are really and truly um, a person who is valuable. And regardless of your baggage, regardless of the things that you've been through, when you get to understand that you are the bomb.com and that you're only getting better, regardless of what you're working on personally, you have a different energy about you. And that energy, you know, it pervades everything, like your texting, the things that you say to people, the way in which you present yourself, you know, the straightness of your back, like when you walk into your date, your, your level of self-confidence is amazing. When you know and understand that even though you're not perfect, you are a work of art. You are a beautiful specimen, um, a beautiful human being. And getting yourself to that level while you perfect yourself is the most beautiful thing that you can do for yourself. And you will notice that when you get to that stage where you feel you know, enamored with yourself, where you're dating yourself, where you're like, oh my gosh, like I am everything. Um, when you get to that stage, then you will notice that, you know, your interactions with others get better. Like you're not dealing with the bottom feeders. You're not having certain conversations with people um, and you're holding certain standards. And I think for me, that was the turning point in my life. Once I decided that I was not going to approach dating with purpose, with fear, 
but I was going to approach it with confidence. That's when things really, really, you know, changed for me. That's when I was able to create the experiences that I wanted because I was not desperate. I was not dependent on people liking me or not liking me. It was a matter of me presenting the best version of myself and understanding that the best version of myself was actually pretty good. Like, you know, I just think that a lot of guys in the dating apps and in the dating world are able to do what they do and get away with certain things because, you know, women are not confident. Women are feeling, um, you know, as if it's be all or do all, you know, or die. Like feeling that, that, that level of desperation, I guess is what I'm trying to say, is really, really something that you got to work with. Like if you have a goal and you say, you know what, I want to get married. I want to, um, you know, have three kids and a dog and pick a fence. Um, and you have all of these detailed um, desires, but fearing that it won't happen tends to color our behavior and our attitude and our aura. But when you do the inner work, the affirmations, the journaling, um, listening to binaural beats, when you do all of that and you get yourself into a space of expectancy, when you expect the best, when you're able to expect the best because you know it's already going to happen, you already know it's a foregone conclusion, that's when you get into the space of deliciousness. Like your energy is off the hook, um, off the chain not off the hook, off the chain. Um, and you get yourself into a space where you're irresistible. And it's not something that can be fully described, at least not by me. I'm sure other people can. But I want you guys to get to the space where you feel absolutely delicious. Like you feel exquisite. You feel on top of the world. You're very confident that you're going to reach your goals that you're going to have what you want. And, you know, now you're just in a space of enjoying life, enjoying saying hi to people. It doesn't mean that this is the one or that is the one. You're not feeling nervous and, you know, just in this desperate space or anxiety that the thing that you want may not happen. So I'm going to give off this very anxious vibe or rushed vibe. Um, but you're going to be in a space where, you know what? I already know what I have. I know what I want. And I'm just enjoying the show. So I hope this helps. Um, because as I said, I had people in my inbox asking me about, you know, their nerves, um, feeling nervous about uh, entering the dating field and understanding their place in all of it. And what if these guys trick me and do all of this stuff? Like, you know, you've got to set your boundaries but you've got to date yourself, which means getting to know yourself, fall in love with yourself, um, you know, experience the wonder of who you are. And we are all beautiful, wonderful beings. We all have so much to offer to the world. Sometimes we don't bring it out of ourselves. Sometimes it's buried, but we all have something to offer. And I just want to share that with you guys to make sure that you understand that your job here in this world, here in this life, is to discover your exquisite beauty, discover the true nature of who you are, which is absolutely exquisite. You should never feel um, that you're less than anything else, less than anyone else. Um, you Take the time to discover the beauty. Oh, you're welcome. Take the time to discover the beauty of who you are because you there's no one else like you on this planet, much less in this universe or the galaxies or however big it is. There is no one with your specific chemistry, ingredients, whatever went into making you who you are. There's no one else in the world like you. Not one. You're the only one. 
some people may have similarities. Some people may look like you, whatever, but you are the only one. And knowing that and embracing that and enjoying that, that is the power that you have as a beautiful feminine woman to bring that out. Date yourself, fall in love with yourself, do the things that you love. They, they say, and it was the best advice, is make sure you write a list of your top 20 things that bring you joy. And it's not the things that, oh, I like washing puppies or doing, it could be, but I'm just saying, it's got to be things that bring you the ultimate joy in your life. Make a list and write it down. Then you post that list on the wall or wherever, mirror, bathroom mirror, wherever you want to post it. And then you make a decision every day to do at least two of them. Oh, thank you, as are you, as are you, thank you. Make a decision to do two of them or three of them every single day. Commit to that, commit to yourself. Commit to doing what brings you joy every single day. So let's say you commit to it, but maybe you only do one of them. The next day you do two, the next day you do three, the next day you do one because you just didn't have time or you know, whatever it is, but at least you did something. Because the thing that so many of us lack in this world is love and joy. And if you are not able to bring yourself to a state of joy, it's very hard to experience the best of yourself. But you remember the times when you did feel absolute joy, where you were just ecstatic or happy or pleased and comforted, if you remember those in your life, you will discover the beauty of who you are. Because when you're in that moment, when you're feeling that level of joy in your life, that's when you are the best of who you are. That's when you are, you know, exquisitely, divinely you. And so I'm encouraging you, ladies, listen, Become the woman that you want to be today. So in other words, even if you're not fully that person, begin to embody as much of it as you can. Experience joy. Develop a level of confidence because the more you're feeling joy, the more you are enjoying being in your skin and being in your body, the more confident you will feel. Because anything that we do, you know, over and over and over becomes a habit, right? Right. So what if you be, you know, embody a habit of experiencing joy? What if you embody a habit of experiencing the best of yourself? Wouldn't you feel like you're the cat's meow? Wouldn't you feel like, oh my gosh, I am wonderful. Like I enjoy being me. And um, so many of us don't experience that. So many of us don't have that in our lives. And I want you to have it. I want you to remember it. And especially when you're dating, you have to be at your highest energy. You have to be at your best. And so it's super, super, super important that you make sure that you create the conditions in your life in which you can be your best. You know, create the conditions where you can experience your highest level of joy. So I'm going to head out and I've got to go pick up my kids. They are at a uh, homeschool program which is like a gym and swim program. So I'm going to go pick them up, but I wanted to come in and share that because that was on my heart. Um, and you know, you know what, you guys just let me know if there's topics that you want to discuss in this group. If there's, um, things that you want to, you know, delve into more that's not yet been discussed. I am, um, building the units in here and discussing things that are I'm passionate about because it's not just about dating with purpose and courtship and vetting and getting to the wedding, but I want you all to remain happily married. I want you to be happy, exquisite, beautiful, you know, brides for the rest of your life. And so that takes some work. That takes um, some definite commitment. Hello, how are you? 
Um, and so I want to thank you all for being here. I don't come in here live very often, but I think I'm going to start doing that more. Um, I transitioned my focus a little bit. I was working on some video programs, but now I am more so working on a book. And so that's taking um, less energy than trying to plan um, videos and things of that nature. Because, you know, I can't come on here looking crazy, so I got to get myself together. Uh, <laughs> so that takes some doings on some of these days because I'm homeschooling my children and meal planning and getting the house together and whatnot. So I don't have time or I haven't had time to come on live, but I really think I want to transition a little bit more, come on here a little bit more on live. Thank you all so much for being here. Love you much and bye-bye.